Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. hands. If Christ's Christ disciples keep silence, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God give us life. Let, Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, in body mind, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Generous God, this day and all its possibilities are your gift to us. Make us ready to receive your grace this morning and every morning. Maker of all, because you delight in creation and love each of us with equal cherishing, we pause to honor your name and to examine ourselves in the light of your love. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I want my life, the life of others, in the life of the world. May, May God, God forgive you, Christ renew you, you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives the lives of others and the life of the world. 
May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, and empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. And the world. Praise in the highest heaven, the one who made the earth. Praise God's wonderful deeds. Praise God's excellent greatness. Praise God with the blast of the trumpet and the strumming of the guitar. Praise God with rhythm and dancing, fiddles, drums and flutes. Praise God with clanging cymbals, the louder they clash the better. Let everything that breathes praise God. Hallelujah! 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 Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Colossians, chapter 4, verses 2 through 18, from the Common English Bible. Keep on praying and guard your prayers with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us also. Pray that God would open a door for the Word so we can preach the secret plan of Christ, which is why I'm in chains. Pray that I might be able to make it as clear as I ought to when I preach. Act wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Your speech should always be gracious and sprinkled with insight, so that you may know how to respond to every person. Tychicus, our dearly beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow slave in the Lord, will inform you about everything that has happened to me, this is why I sent him to you, so that you'll know all about us, and so he can encourage your hearts. I sent him with Onesimus, our faithful and dearly loved brother, who is one of you. They will let you know about everything here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, says hello to you. So does Mark, Bartimaeus' cousin. You received instructions about him. If he comes to you, welcome him. Jesus, called Justice, also says hello. These are my only fellow workers for God's kingdom who are Jewish converts. They have been encouragement to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, says hello. He's a slave of Christ Jesus, who always wrestles for you in prayers, so that you will stand firm and be fully mature and complete in the entire will of God. I can vouch for him that he has worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and Hierapolis. Luke, the dearly loved physician, and Demas say hello. Say hello to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea, along with the Nympha and the church that meets in her house. After this letter has been read to you publicly, make sure that the church in Laodicea reads it and that you read the one from Laodicea. And tell Archippus, see to it that you complete the ministry that you received in the Lord. 
I, Paul, am writing this greeting personally. Remember that I'm in prison. Grace be with you. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. If only you had given us a perfect world, we sometimes ponder. If only you, God, had given us a world without war, without disease, without hunger. And if only you had given us perfect bodies, which never knew pain, and perfect minds, which were never distracted, and a perfect faith, which could never be shaken. But that was never your design. That was never your intent. So thank you for all the complications of life and for our own limitations. And in kindness, give us a desire to serve the world and love the self we are given with more hope than complaint, just like Jesus. Jesus. Amen. On the twelfth day of the month, we pray for the staff in the Iona Community Centres on Iona and Mull.
and we pray for all former islands staff. We pray too for the following countries, the lands and their peoples. Belize, Canada, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama and the USA. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Edinburgh North West. Graham Brown, David Coleman with Talison and Melangel, Colin Douglas, Peter Miller, Scylla McKenna, Irene Wilkie, Andrew Wright and Amanda. On this day of the month, we pray for associates in Scotland West. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It's not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple not made with human hands. We are your body. Every wall should crumble, and every church decay. We are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion, compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations, where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. God it was who said to Abraham, pack your bags and travel on. God it was who said to Sarah, smile and soon you'll bear a son. Travelling folk and aged mothers, wondering when they thought they'd done. This is how God calls his people, losing all because of one. God it was who said to Moses, save my people, part the sea. God it was who said to Miriam, sing and dance to show you're free. Shepherds sing some tambourinists, doing what he knew they could. This is how God calls his people, liberating what they should. Christ it was who said to Matthew, leave your books and follow me. Christ it was who said to Martha, listen first, then make the tea. Civil servants and housekeepers, changing places at a cost. This is how Christ calls disciples, finding those he knew were lost. God it was who said to Abraham, pack your bags and travel on. 
God it was who said to Sarah, smile and soon you'll bear a son. Travelling folk and aged mothers, wondering when they thought they'd done. This is how God calls his people, losing all because of one. God it was who said to Moses, save my people, part the sea. God it was who said to Miriam, sing and dance to show you're free. Shepherd saints and tambourinists, doing what he knew they could. This is how God calls his people, liberating what they should. Christ it was who said to Matthew, leave your 